funny. Uh, so we actually met on Bumble, um, you know, over like a year ago. Um, so it took us a little bit to actually, um, a few months to actually meet up in person. But I think it was just the perfect, the perfect time. So she did say hello first. Um, I don't remember it that much because it was a year and it was a written conversation, but you know, I know she made a very good impression on me that, you know, I proceeded to ask her out on our first date. We had a first date at Central Park. Um, so I was actually very impressed because he lived in Queens at the time. So he took an Uber, a very expensive Uber, for us to go on a walk <laughs> in Central Park. Uh, so we, that's all we did. We walked around, it was very low key, it was very like, you know, intimate, um, and we just felt very comfortable. So interestingly enough, on our first date, as a background, I'm big on hygienics and being clean and that, and she, as a funny thing, she showed up to our first date with spinach between her teeth. Um, but I knew I had someone special because it didn't bother me, and just throughout the conversations, I know I had a very genuine person at the end of the day. Um, I thought he had beautiful eyes, really great eyebrows. He was tall, so I was definitely, <laughs> definitely very, you know, excited. He's very attractive. So my first impression of her is I know she has a some aura to her, you know, when she walks into the room or anywhere, for some reason she's always the center of attention and I love that about her. So I think um, when he really started to show me how he loved me, and I think because I kind of like developed an idea of how I should be loved, and he really sort of like embodied that, and he really like showed up, he was like more consistent, and was, yeah, this is, you know, this is like the man that I would want to like raise my kids. So like, you know, once I was able to see that sentence, like, yeah, this is, this is the one. So it's funny, the way she's changed me over this past year, I remember she asked me, hey, like, is it okay if we hold hands in public? We can kiss in public? And at first I was like, nope, I'm not doing it. I'm not that type of guy. And I think because I loved her so much naturally, I was like, you know what, maybe I do want to hold her hand in public. And maybe I do want to kiss her sometimes in public. And we do that now. And I think about it, because back then I was, you know, there's a little bit of this sense where like no one's going to really change that aspect of me, and that's how I also knew. She was the one where she can get me to change just like that, but also make it feel like a very comfortable change. I love absolutely everything about him, even the parts that annoy me, <laughs> you know, because it's funny because like I'll, I'll laugh like, oh, you're annoying, I, I, I don't want this, but at the same time, like, I wouldn't change a single thing about him, so it's, I, I, I take all of it, I just love everything about him. Some of my favorite things about her is when she truly loves someone and she cares for someone, she will go out of her way to look out for that person, no matter what it is and she's never thinking about herself. This, another thing I love about her is, you know, when I'm stressed or something's going wrong, she always says the right thing, does the right things, you know, to calm me down and to make it feel like there was nothing wrong. I am looking forward to 
really interested in building a life with him, like waking up with him every day, not you know, not being apart, you know, from each other like ever. I think we really sort of meshed, you know, into like one um, a while ago and it just like feels right to be able to, you know, be together, you know, at all times and then like, grow and really help uplift one another and just for a family. Starting our own life, you know, having a family, you know, down the road together, because I know she's going to be the best mother, the best wife that there is to the wife for me and the mother of our children. Raph, before committing to you, I had to surrender and commit my life to God. He taught me about love, about faith, how to serve, how to sacrifice. That it is important to give, but it is also important to receive, and you know how much I struggle with that. <laughs> the importance of boundaries in a world with none. He taught me what love is and what love isn't. Most importantly, he showed me how I should be loved. As God has loved me, knowing all of me, you have mirrored his love and done the same. You have loved me knowing all of the good and all of the bad. And I can confidently say that because I tell you absolutely every minor thought that goes through my head, every emotion that I feel, no matter how bad, dumb, ridiculous, or scary. You know all of my faults and imperfections, even the ones which I convinced myself long ago disqualified me from love. I am confident of her love because I am confident that I am known and that I am seen. I love you also, knowing all of you. You're not a very patient person, <laughs> but you exercise admirable patience with me. You are true to your word, protective, consistent. You are kind and incredibly gentle. I know your heart like I know my own, and I walk into this commitment with you with a God-given peace and confidence because you are every prayer answered in one. Today, I commit my life to yours and promise to continue to love you for all that you are to cherish you, support you, strengthen you, challenge you, and build you up. May we honor God with our time, with our life, in every aspect of our marriage. Cassandra, today I give myself to you in marriage. You're the most important person in my life. I knew that one day we'd be here celebrating with all our friends and family because you showed up with our first date with a huge piece of spinach stuck in your teeth and I didn't bat an eye. I cannot wait to grow with you, have our own family one day because I know you will be the best mother to our children. The way you care about people, the way you love them and put them first before yourself is inspiring to see as one of the many reasons I wanted to marry you. I promise I will cherish you for the rest of my life, support you in all your goals and comfort you in times of sorrows and struggles. I love you.
Je peux rien à décoller. Protection pays une blessée. Touriste perdu de visite. Nous tellement pas vivants, sommes toute l'autre nation vraie humilienne. Nous s'y poser changer page. Le fun porter toutes les charges. Haïtien nous doit mettre ma couleur de rapport dans le game détail. Les lois et pays ne changent rien. Nous allons dire oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah. Nous aimons pour pays me décoller. 